I'm Pat Martin, and I'm from Los Angeles, California. I'm a documentary portrait photographer, and I mainly photograph my family and people who I love. It was my first time entering, and I entered one because the National Portrait Gallery, when I visited it three years before in 2016, uh, was exhibiting a retrospective on William Nagleston's portraits. And to me, that was one, my favorite photographer, and two, just like seeing them incredibly printed for the first time in my face, I had said that before I die, I'd like to have my photographs in the National Portrait Gallery in London. Uh, and then the other, the second one was in 2018, Alice Mann, she won. And that's what showed me that you could enter your photographs to this portrait prize. Uh, and I went on a whim after my mom had passed away that year. It just kind of aligned kismetly that if I don't submit this now, I don't know when I will. And I, as I put it, jumped into the deep end and just submitted. And was very lucky that you got to judge it blindly. And yeah, my mom would be, my mom would be a, a little shy to know I know that at this point that she, she was on the walls and celebrated. But I, I know that she would be happy to know that I'm exactly where I'm at right now because of those photos. Well, I've been slowly collecting these pictures of my mom for the, like through this series, um, one by one, putting them together as like uh, these different perspectives and. I had a consultant that was uh, very close to my circle for a while, and she helped narrow it down to six. Uh, and those six, it was clear to me that the last portrait I took of my mom was, that was the only one that really felt important to me through them. The other ones I felt gave a, like a prefaced perspective to that photograph. Um, I unknowingly, organically, uh, like photographed my mom in a distorted manner. Like I was trying to photograph her and it wasn't until years later, looking back at the edit that I noticed that I was photographing her and abstracting her face. Whether that be um, my nephew was in front of her or a light pattern was cutting most of her face. So she was in the shadow. Um, my mom was out of focus. Like these, I gravitated towards without, without even thinking that I was hiding her face. Um, and then the last year and the last like four or five months before she had passed, I was really looking at her, the, the five pictures that were chosen and hung in the show, like they really were this journey, each of them, artifacts of a journey. And the five of them make up that, that small vignette of a story, but they don't tell the story for me. I look at them and I, I see them as like a, a beautiful thumbnail of it all. Now I'm on this journey to photograph uh, people from her life people from our life together. And that's just starting. So the the prize, the portrait submission to the prize was to me uh, a starting point in what will continue. It felt like a chapter closed almost. And I wanted to submit it also like that, but a year and a half, two years later after the prize, I'm still seeing it as a chapter one of I don't know how many. It was beautiful. It was the exact room that the Eggleston photographs were shared in. So for me to like walk into this room with beautiful photographs and I don't know, just I, everything in it just felt perfectly placed, perfectly balanced. I felt like all of the work was on a certain level and a certain deepness and heart. Uh, and to come across the corner where I'm looking at the five pictures of my mom, they, they felt just like, like the universe and I, I want to find the words to putting all the intersections into the cross point of like, I'm right on the X now. <laughs>
right there was the X marks the spot. Like, and to be a photographer in the National Portrait Gallery, up, like in a wide group of people waiting for that announcement, and then it said like second prize winner, not my name. I was like, <gasps> it's like a big deep breath opens up. It's like, oh my god, I can breathe, and and my name. Uh, and I got to go shake Nicholas's hand. And I don't even know where that photo is, but like, it's, I kind of went blind, I think for a second, you know, walking up and I'm just like on autopilot, handshake, holding little trophy. <laughs> yeah, losing my train of thought on that. That's, that was really beautiful.